The hippo clearly is one of the animals who doesn't mind the rain. They seem to be moving into these new pools. Quite lively and enjoying the expanse of water that they're now given. Impala huddled away on the edges of the forests. Their fur is matted and thick. You can see just how damp they are. Just as the rain lifted slightly, the kukul popped his head out and sat in a branch just trying to dry himself out. The eye of the bird is incredible, so red. Came across these two old buffalo bulls slowly moving together. They must have been disturbed by lions through the night. They were quite wary, very alert and watching, smelling the air. The area really needed this rain and it's going to transform back to what it was in the previous year. Our first visitor was a young triangle keelback on the hunt for baby frogs. This individual was only about 30 centimetres long. Adults can get over a metre and eat birds and mice in addition to frogs. Keelbacks have excellent eyesight and react lightning fast when they see a frog moving. They usually hunt by poking around under leaves, hoping to flush out a frog and then chase it down. All through the morning, the various species of tadpoles were feeding in their own manner. We saw that one type of very large tadpole was able to swim upside down, allowing it to skim the water surface for food that was invisible to my eyes. A busy little grey wagtail came down uh, and hunted along the side of the pool in search of insects. After a while, we started to explore the vegetation uh, close to the pools and came across the strangest spider I've ever seen. How can we possibly explain such outrageous appendages? We know that nature is never profligate, so there must be a powerful reason for this bizarre body form. But what it is, I do not know. While we were watching the spider, a number of wasps stole in and helped themselves to small insects that were stuck in the web. At one point, a beautiful butterfly also crashed into its web, sending the spider scurrying to a nearby branch. Blacksmith lapwings are nesting on a small estuary in Durban. It's now the peak of their breeding season and they've chosen this small beach under a highway to raise their chicks. 
It's a polluted place, littered with rubbish, and there's a highway right above them, but this hasn't put them off. They are hardy birds, found throughout southern and eastern Africa. Unlike many other water birds, they can thrive even in disturbed habitats, and their population has actually increased over the last 10 years. They are protective parents and react aggressively to intruders, making a loud metallic sounding alarm call. This warns the chicks that a predator is approaching. If they remain still, their camouflage will protect them on the exposed sand. But whenever possible, they'll bury themselves in their parents' feathers leaving only their skinny legs visible. As time goes by, they will gradually roam further away from their parents, and after two months, these chicks will be able to leave the safety of their guardians as fully-fledged blacksmith lapwings. As the human population grows, wild spaces are becoming more and more rare. The more adaptable the animal, the better their chances of survival. One of the first creatures we come across is this fascinating juvenile batfish. Now, once these fish are older, they spend a lot of time in the midwater. But as juveniles, they mimic pieces of grass or algae and tend to stick very, very close to the bottom. A little further along, we came across this shrimp. As soon as it's noticed, it tends to take cover in the sand. And then the starfish came along. Now the shrimp is absolutely determined not to take off. Now the starfish must know it's here, it has a lot of sensory organs and is quite able to detect prey. Then something quite strange began to happen. The starfish too began to bury itself. Both animals end up burying themselves into the sand and I suspected that maybe one or the other was going to make a move and try and ambush the other, but both creatures just continue to bury themselves deeper and deeper. This is quite bizarre behavior, why exactly both these creatures delved into the sand, whether it was to take protection from me, I'm not entirely sure. And little hermit crab passed over the top of screen. I'm pretty sure he didn't notice either of the creatures lying below the sand. <laughs> 